All right, in this video, we have a new pair of Nike sneakers that I have tried wearing for the last month or so, but figured I'd go ahead and do a video on them finally. This is the Nike React Pegasus Trail 4 Gore-Tex version, and Gore-Tex version. I keep saying Gore-Tex, but it's Gore-Tex. Any which way, this is a look at the model, and I have tried the uh, Pegasus uh, Trail 2 before, and it was a little bit lower cut around the collar. This is a little bit higher cut around the collar. And I gotta say, there's a lot of things to really enjoy about this pair of sneakers. There's one thing, though, about this shoe that, unfortunately, I can't get past, which is why I'm gonna be returning my pair, but uh, it's probably not gonna be a factor for everybody out there. If it is uh, a factor for you and you did buy these and stuff and you try them out, uh, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know I'm not crazy or that my feet aren't just, like, horribly off or something. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video and give you some information about this sneaker. So this shoe is $160 and I would say it is true to size uh, with a caveat there that I'll get into in just a second. From what Nike says about the product, the Nike React Pegasus Trail 2 Gore-Tex is your running companion for those days when the weather turns. Its waterproof Gore-Tex layer helps you keep your feet dry and less rubber in the outsole creates a smoother transition from road to trail without breaking stride. The Gore-Tex along the upper helps your feet stay dry from the participation without sacrificing the comfort feel of the peg trail. Its flexible lightweight design helps keep out the rain between uh, the wet roads and trails as we already said. It's kind of repeating itself. A generative traction pattern combined with rubber in the forefoot provides extra grip for technical trails while maintaining a smooth ride for the road. The Nike React technology is a lightweight, durable foam that delivers a smooth, responsive ride. Its full-length design provides stability as you brave the rocky terrain. Updated materials around the ankle ensure water and debris uh, do not get in the shoe. And this colorway that I got is actually barely grape, barely green, yellow strike, and total orange, which is really crazy now that they said barely grape. I didn't even realize that the upper is actually like a light grape color. I thought it was um, white for some reason. And then I looked at the fuse material around where the laces are and you can obviously see that it, there's a, like a light grape color there. Then there's a light mint color uh, around the collar, the tongue as well. And then the big toe section down here has uh, some extra fuse material as well. It does have a Nike Trail Mountain Peak logo on the lateral side of the shoe. And then it does say Gore-Tex down here where there's more fused material around uh, the shoe as well. And I have the Pegasus Trail 2 Gore-Tex version and there's definitely a significant difference in height on uh, the newer model from the older ones that I have here. So if you like the lower sneaker feel then the older version might be better. If you kind of like that mid-top sort of vibe uh, then this one is not bad on feet. Now without beating around the bush too much more the main reason why this was not a go for me is because of the tongue. The tongue is actually fixed from the midpoint down but unfortunately the tongue is not very stretchable and this section right here just comes across the top of my foot and it actually just leaves a little bit of a mark. It's like a little bit too snug there and since it's not flexible and it can't have any give and because of that uh, every time I wear these, like it just has a discomfort on the top of my foot right here. Now, if you have like not as wide of a foot, you probably don't even notice this. Or I guess the other option that I could do is go up a half a size and see if that works. But true to size fit just fine. So unfortunately, that's the only area where I had issues. If that wasn't an issue for me, then these shoes are pretty extraordinary. Like it's a pretty nice, uh, well-built pair of Gore-Tex sneaker boots that you could give a go and, and be happy with. If you want to go a little more extreme from the Nike front, you can always go with the Mountain Fly. This is actually a pretty decent shoe as well. There's some things I love and, and don't like about the shoe also though. I don't like the bunched collar around here and just getting on your foot. I, I don't understand why sometimes Nike creates shoes that are so hard for accessibility to actually put on your foot. I get that this isn't like supposed to be for like handicapped people or anything like that, but like as an older dude, like this is not easy to get on this thing is very stretchy once it's on it's fine but it's such a struggle to get them on that i honestly never wear these i'll probably be selling this pair along with some others in my next whatnot stream whenever i do that uh, over on whatnot if you guys didn't know about that i basically sell a lot of my sneakers my personals over on whatnot on occasion twice a month over there so link in the description it'll take you over to whatnot and you can follow me along and then bookmark my next show also you get ten dollars free credit when you sign up these ones are within the return window however so i'm just going to return these ones to nike uh, i did get them a little bit dirty and i wore them out and about uh to my kids soccer practices and games and then just out in the park and whatnot uh, so they're a bit dirty but honestly again i just i really couldn't get past the discomfort on the top of my foot so other than that the shoe is pretty nice and waterproof on the upper the react on the midsole is super nice it's a very lightweight trail shoe as well so if again you want that mid-top vibe 
This is really lightweight for that mid top vibe. The fused accents in the upper are very nice. The colorway is fire. I actually don't even mind the gator. This part kind of bugged me on the previous version. Like honestly you get it in and it's fine once you have them on but it does feel a little bit weird how it's loose around the collar but you just get used to it and honestly it does kind of protect from debris which when you're at the playground and stuff and the kids are kicking up like bark dust and stuff it usually does get in my socks so it was nice that it actually kind of shields it off the traction is pretty nice on here as well it's not super wide foot friendly but it's not super narrow either so it's a decent fit for my foot again mine is the top of the tongue i just wish they would have used a little bit more stretchy material for the tongue but i have to say in their defense i understand why they use this obviously it's gore-tex and the shoe has gore-tex on it and I can understand why they wanted to fuse it from this part down because honestly when water comes in you don't want it to sprinkle in through the tongue on the sides. I've had that happen in the past on previous models and it's like not fun at all. So the fact that they actually had this water resistant and locked down from this point down was a really smart move. But unfortunately the stitching was just a little bit too uh, snug for my foot and because of that. Uh, man, it's just, it's unfortunate that I have to return them. I wore thinner socks and it was still an issue. And obviously with thicker socks, it was a no-go. But have you guys had that same problem? Do you guys try them on? Is it a little bit too snug on your foot up top here as well? Or is it a non-issue for you? Because I'm going to guess that most of you guys probably don't have an issue here. I know I'm a little bit heavier set dude. And, um, you know, my foot is a little bit wide. So this might be an isolated incident to me throwing that out there because all in all, uh, what you get for this shoe is actually really good and the price point only a buck 60 versus like a 180 or so like honestly not a bad deal and i do also have the zoom x zagamas or zugamas that i just did a review on on my channel a bit ago and comparative like these are a really good option if you don't want to pay 180 or whatever those ones are uh and you want that waterproof feature this is a better option in my mind if you need that waterproof uh, on your shoe. The Zagamas need to have a waterproof version. I don't know why they don't have a Gore-Tex version, but the baseline version is not. It's a comfortable shoe though, and that one does have Zoom X, but even though this one is React and not Zoom X, it honestly felt almost the same on feet, where it's just as soft and squishy as the Zoom X version, which means the Zoom X Zagama is not as felt in the midsole as uh, maybe it should be. Maybe it's the extra traction on the Zagamas where it makes it so it doesn't feel as soft and squishy as say like the Invincible runs, but it's still really good. These are still really good. And it's nice that Nike's making a couple different offerings in the ACG slash uh, Nike trail camp. I do also like it says, uh, just run it, reason not required, something kind of fun. And I did try running in these as well. Honestly, just out and about uh, outside on the asphalt. And it was okay, but it would have been better, again, if I didn't have that discomfort. I actually really like this colorway, too. I got a lot of compliments wearing this one. I will say, if you don't like these offerings from Nike, there's two great options with waterproof sneakers or sneaker boots from Adidas. That is the Adidas Terex Free Hiker 1 or 2. I just did a review of the Free Hiker 2 Gore-Tex version. Super, super awesome sneaker boot. Very water resistant. Lots of really rugged uh, vibes in the bottom of there. Definitely going to be wearing those ones to pumpkin patches and finding Christmas trees and stuff like that this year and just out and about wilderness stuff but also another option if you'd rather have a sneaker vibe then you can go with the adidas ultra boost 22 gore-tex version really nice model as well they do fit a little bit snug though so go up a half a size but all in all a really uh, great pair very water resistant on your feet if you don't want to go the adidas route then a cheaper alternative but also a really good one is the uh, new balance hero 7 gore-tex not one that i have in my hand yet i do have the hero 6s in the gore-tex version and the regular the Hero 6s in the Gore-Tex version is amazing though. Very, very nice. Something I just leave in my garage. It's something that I wear on a regular basis. And it's probably the best option for people with wider feet. True to size, but wider feet options uh, for those ones. Excellent. And I can't wait to try the Hero 7s. Any which way, what do you guys think about these? If you guys do want to buy a pair of them, uh, link in the description over to Nike. I'll link the Adidas options as well as the New Balance option if you guys are interested. But some really nice options for water resistant footwear if you guys are on the market. I did a top five last year i'll probably be doing another one this year if you have other ones that you would suggest that i haven't reviewed yet on this channel please leave a comment and let me know because i'm definitely actively looking for great water resistant uh footwear especially it's sneaker sneaker boots sort of uh feel but if you guys did enjoy the content please drop a like in the video and hopefully we'll see you back on the channel uh, again very soon all right peace guys